Hello YouTube, I'm Charles here. Today is a great day for me because this is the day we have made 1,000 subscribers on this channel. It's a great milestone. It has been two years of doing videos and waiting. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, who has been sharing, who has been commenting, and those who have been watching. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to encourage you. If you find this, some of my videos are interesting, if you find them useful, you can continue sharing with your friends, you can share on social medias, because I think there are many people who might need this kind of content, and it's hard to discover where you find it. I actually started this channel because there were no detailed YouTube channels giving detailed information into motherboards. Most of the channels out there give out shortcut videos. Videos that are directed to the solution of a certain problem on the motherboard. That is okay to a regular person who uses a laptop and encounters an issue. That's totally fine. But to a technician, it's very bad. Because if you're a technician and you have to take this kind of business as your career and you only target videos with it, with the direct solutions it will be hard for you because what if such a solution does not work out or what if you have a different kind of motherboard what will you do so i started making these videos with the details from the perception of like a beginner where do you measure how do you use some tools where how do you diagnose an issue because that's the kind of knowledge a technician needs and then another thing why I started this channel is because, you know, especially in, in Africa here or in Uganda, East Africa, because I come from Uganda, and I usually see many guys here from Kenya, from Nigeria, from South Africa, I do get their messages on my WhatsApp. I wanted to give out some details of the way motherboards work, because, you know, technicians are the people who create innovative devices out there. And I guess the reason why we see less innovation in our continent is because we have neglected the roles of technicians. Technicians are the people who create innovative devices out there. If you guys know that the first people to make an airplane were bicycle technicians. And many technicians do different things because you know a technician has got a chance to study practically how a device works and you can improve based on the weakness they have discovered. And that's why you see, I think in Africa we have less innovation because technicians have totally given up on innovations. They only focus on day-to-day -day survival and how they can get some money. So I wanted to give out detailed information from these motherboard workers to as many technicians out there. Because you know, without technology, you can to develop a country because technology is the one that develops transportation. You know, right now we have cars that use transportation, we have airplanes, and those are a result of technology. Technology is the one that uses health, you know, machines that do uh, help doctors when they are diagnosing, when they are operating. To any sector, construction, we have machines that do mixing of different uh, concrete. So, if a country wants to develop, they should put their focus on technology innovations. Well, in Africa, we focus a lot on farming and politics and what, but the backbone of any country's development is, te is technology. So I wanted to share this knowledge to you guys out there. Maybe if you get to know this knowledge in, as soon, in a short period of time, in 10 or 20 years, or five years you could be able to maybe set up your own companies maybe hire some guys and we actually start creating some devices here on the continent so that was one of my major reasons for starting this channel and that's why you see my videos are quite boring <laughs> because i tend to go into irrelevant details and if someone comes to this channel to find a solution they will actually be bored and i'm okay with that because I think that's one of my mission. So, in relation to that, I want to let you know that videos take a lot of time. There's a lot of editing, 
a lot of recording, camera setup, and you know, it's consuming a lot of time. And when it comes to editing, it's hard. The videos you see that I upload of 20 minutes are actually out of one hour long videos, and you have to edit out the unnecessary stuff and make it as short as possible. So, in regards to that, I decided to design a physical course. Yeah. And uh, this is going to take place in Kampala here. It's going to happen in January next year. It's going to be at Bati Valley Primary School. And if you are, if there is any guy out there who is from Uganda and you'd like to learn with us, you can. Uh, I put a link in the description where you can download the detailed booklet of the course. So you can apply and you can go learn together because you know the potential of the knowledge we have is not only to repair. Repair is a minimal. I think it's ten percent. You know, if you focus and upgrade our knowledge, you can design different stuff. All right. So I'm, I'm designing this course basically to have that physical interaction, physical uh, tutoring, physical learning. Because well, I'm also not an hundred percent expert. I'm someone who does research and it gets to know some of those good information and share them with you guys. And if you're together and you have a chance to learn together, it will be a great experience. Yes. So if you're from Uganda, if you are within Kampala, or if you can come within Kampala, you can check the link, download that PDF, you get all the details of the course. Then another thing, I'm also writing a PDF book. Just if time comes when I can't make videos. And you know, there are many details that I come across and I can't make videos about them. But I would like to share them with you. And the same thing I want to communicate to you, basically, technicians from Africa. If you find something interesting, if you find something that is unique, please share it. Hmm? You know, the, we have a challenge of knowledge here. We have it. Many people know many things but don't communicate them because of fear of competition, because of fear of business. But let me tell you one thing. Because if you are a technician, maybe you fix a car, you fix a phone, you fix a laptop, you can never be proud to fix another man's device to that extent that you become selfish, you know. You just know a little bit of that laptop. So why don't you share it? And I know some, guys, some of you guys have got people who pay and come into your workshops to learn this skill. And I've seen it from experience. Most guys keep guys under their workshop without teaching them the skill. Just using them as waiters, like, can bring me this, go do this, do this. Please, if you want our continent to devolve, share what you know. Share what you know. You can never be proud of the knowledge of fixing a car, yet there are guys out there who are designing new cars. You, know, you are making a country or a continent lose a lot by being selfish. Please share. We have a chance now. You can make a video as short as possible and someone can learn from it. You can write about it. You can even teach the ones who are next to you. you know, that's how those people are developing. So, a quick reminder, please don't be selfish. If you know something, share it. Whether there's someone paying attention or not. Because, you know, most of the information you put out here, there are some people who come in some years to come and they will learn from them. And somehow, maybe in 10, 20 years, we shall have a different level of innovation or development in our countries. Yes. So thank you guys. That's what I wanted to communicate. If you have any suggestion how I can improve, what kind of videos I should make in the future, you can put them down there. You can reach out to me on my website. It is my WhatsApp. I have my email. In case of anything, you can reach out to me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.